It's your forecast first on KX News. Every newscast every day. Forecast first with the KX Storm Team. Putting North Dakota first. Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Hi, I'm Katie Heath from Minot, and I'm wondering, hey Tom, how's the weather? Well, Katie, it looks like uh, here's your personal forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a little bit warmer than today. There might be a couple of snowflakes tonight, but tomorrow we should be, at least in mind, I get back into the 20s. And thank you for sending that uh, video in. Now, if you would like to have your personal forecast, just like Katie, what you do is you take your cell phone, get a group together, just you, your office workers, whatever, and uh, say where you're at, your name, and hey, Tom, how's the weather? And it's real easy. You can find us on Facebook at KX News, or you can email it at tschraderkxnet.com. Make sure, again, you turn your phone sideways. It fills up the whole screen that way. And I'll have a personal forecast for you. And it can be anywhere from Bowman to Rolla and anywhere in between. All right, let's check out what to expect tonight. Single-digit temperatures in quite a few areas tonight. And then for tomorrow, it is going to be noticeably warmer in the west than the east. And then as we uh, get into the weekend, many 30s and 40s on Sunday. So Sunday looks to be the nicer day uh, over the next several days. 11 degrees right now, winds out of the east at 13 miles an hour. That gives us a wind chill of 4 degrees below zero. Minot, 7 degrees. East winds at 11. Wind chill in Minot at 8 degrees below zero. Williston, 19, 17 mile an hour wind. You see the wind chill, at least it's above zero. Zero, right? Dickinson's 20 degrees, a 20 mile an hour wind makes it feel like four degrees above zero. Here are some of the other temperatures around the area, teens and 20s for most places. Now Bismarck's a little bit colder at 11 degrees. And in the north, a lot of single digits from around Highway 83 and then off to the east. And once you get uh, into the Bakken, it looks like temperatures in the teens and the 20s. Now the wind chills. Single digit wind chills, and some of them you can see right here are below zero. And in the north, there's some spots that are actually feeling a lot colder than that. Rugby and Harvey, much colder feeling. Even mine at eight below. Same thing in Garrison. So, uh, pretty raw outside. Now, the wind speed, it's southeasterly wind around 10 to 15 miles an hour, maybe a little bit more in a couple spots. Not real windy, at least compared to yesterday, but still very breezy when it's this cold. You definitely get the wind chills. It only takes a three mile an hour wind to get a wind chill. Now, on our radar and satellite, uh, we're going to see a little light snow. With with most of it being up in the uh, northeastern part of Montana, northwestern North Dakota. You can see a few snowflakes here. May or may not be reaching the ground. The atmosphere is really dry. So we'll, we'll just keep a track on that. Now, looks like uh, kind of a little bit of a swath here with clear skies across uh, much of the central U.S., but looks like rain in the uh, desert southwest. A lot of rain up and down the California coast. Some good it, it will come out of that. Helps replenish the water supply. The bad would be because of all the fires. There could be some mudslides. And and off to the east, boy, that's just cold air in the northeastern quadrant of the U.S. Now, at uh, 7 o'clock tonight into tomorrow morning, we're going to see the sky begin to clear out a little bit. We'll have a partly sunny day tomorrow. Won't be terribly windy, but it is going to be uh, rather chilly. So, temperatures tomorrow morning will be better than they were today for most places. You can see them here. And then tomorrow by 12 noon, much warmer in western North Dakota. Isn't that nice? But even mid afternoon, most of us uh, will be doing okay. Now, here's a look at the next seven days and Friday probably gets a little bit colder after cold front goes through but it warms up over the weekend and uh, for Bismarck we might be in the 30s but 40 across western North Dakota and uh, I was telling you that uh, about some cold air on the way the end of next week might be a much bigger deal with cold air unfortunately Aww. that's ways away not worry <laughs> yeah. about it thanks